Okay, for our next triangle construction, we're going to create two congruent triangles, and this one using the angle side angle method. As always, our first step is to begin with a long ray, and we're going to label the left hand point of that nice long ray uh, point X. And now we begin this time with a congruent angle construction. So I'm going to put my compass with a stop point at A and swing a large arc. And using the same compass setting, swing a large arc at point X. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the distance between the arc and the two intersected legs in the first triangle over to the second triangle where the arc intersected one leg. And now those two points are going to give us a congruent angle. So angle X is now congruent to angle A. So we're going to go ahead and put our congruency mark on there. And since it is angle side angle, our next step is going to be to copy the distance AC from the left hand triangle to the right hand triangle. So we're just going to kind of make sure we're as exact as possible. Remember doing a construction is supposed to be fairly exact. So we swing an arc and now that is going to give us a leg whose distance is equal to that of AC. So we'll label that Z. And I know that AC and XZ are congruent. So now we have two pieces of the puzzle. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move over and copy angle C to the other triangle using uh, C as a stop point and Z as a stop point. And once we have that congruent angle, that's going to make XZ the enclosed leg between the two congruent angles. So now we're, again, with the congruent angle construction, we're copying the distance from the first triangle to the second. And now when we create the ray that goes from Z through that intersection point of those two arcs, there's only one possible solution uh, for intersecting the other ray. And what that's going to do is that's going to force us to have two congruent triangles. So now angle C and angle Z are congruent. So we'll just go ahead and write our congruency statement, angle side angle. So angle A goes with angle X. AC is congruent to XZ and angle C is congruent to angle Z. And just to make sure every time you do have an intersection point you should label those. So there's our triangle congruency statement ASA and one last detail. Let's just put a Y up there real quick. That makes everything nice and neat.